another Bath and Body Works review. Today we're doing the Honeysuckle Peach Tea Fine Fragrance Mist. You'll notice it doesn't have a cap. It's supposed to have a cap. Mine literally didn't come with one and I don't know why. <laughs> I have other ones from the same collection that came with caps that I bought at the same time, but I ordered it online and it's missing a cap. Whatever. I don't even care that much. It just, for the thumbnail, in case anybody's wondering why there's no cap, they're supposed to be just Mine doesn't have one. But look at this aesthetic, the watercolor aesthetic. It's so cute. Just as somebody who does watercolor paintings, I appreciate that very much. Now this I believe just came out last year in 2020. So, or pfft, 2021. I know what year it is. It's 2022 this year. But anyway, <laughs> so the fragrance notes on this are honeysuckle blooms, juicy peaches, and sweet tea. So all things I love, um, irresistible ingredients blended with happiness to make the perfect pair. Aww. And this retailed at $15.50 full price. I didn't pay that. I think I paid about 3 or $4 because I got it during the summer, summer semi-annual sale. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz some on. This is not my first time using it, so... A little behind the neck too. I'm also getting ready for work, so. <laughs> but um, peach is definitely the predominant scent in this one. Just straight across the board, no doubt about it. In case anybody was wondering, if you love peach scents, you'll love this. This is very similar to the one that they use in um, what was it? Not the Georgia peach. There's another one. Was it Pretty as a Peach? Was that a Bath & Body Works scent? I want to say it is. I bought basically every damn peach scent they've made. They all kind of blend together in my head after a while. I think it's Pretty as a Peach that this one smells very similar to for the peach note in it. And then in the dry down, I'm trying to help speed it up a little here. You definitely get like an iced tea scent note too. Honeysuckle, however, which I adore honeysuckle. I don't really get that out of this, being totally honest with you. Like, barely, barely, barely there, but like, not like, to the point where I put it as the first word in the name, like, I don't know. But it does smell really good, and I definitely highly recommend this one, don't get me wrong, don't get it twisted. And this one lasts, my dudes. Like, I can put this on and still smell it well, well into the next day. So, just saying. Granted, yeah, I put a shit ton on, but it lasts, which is saying something, because not all of the Bath & Body Works fine fragrance mists do. Some of them are gone within hours of putting them on. But this one's got stay in power and whoop! I love that about it. But it's not overwhelming. It's still like a nice, light kind of a scent. To me, I get like very springy vibes off of this. I don't know if it was released originally in springtime, but I mean like both the aesthetic of the label as well as just what I feel from it. I feel like it's a, a spring scent, even though it could also be used well in the summer. Or if you're me, year round, I don't give a shit, but just the vibe I get off of it feels very springtime. But it's really lovely. I personally give it a 4 out of 5 only because they promised honeysuckle and I don't really get honeysuckle from it. So I feel a little ripped off there. I also feel ripped off I didn't get a cap, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not grading it down because of the cap thing because I'm sure you guys got a cap with yours. I just didn't. And can we talk about how cute the sprayer being red is? Like just, oh my god. Chef's kiss to how they designed the whole packaging. It's so cute. Love everything about it. Just wish it had a little touch more honeysuckle in there to where I could actually, like, really smell it. <laughs> that would be great. But anyways, this is just a quickie little review. So that is it for this one, my dude. So you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.